Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, January 30th. We're going to start by showing our, our Pike Lake promise. Ready? We show respect, responsibility, self-control, and perseverance. For the Pledge of Allegiance, we stand up and put our hand over our heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, now check out this feature with Mrs. Rosh's class doing the snow fort shuffle. Once you write your word, run it up and throw it on the rug and get a new snowball. I got it. Hi, we're here to announce the pause visit for this upcoming week. The two classrooms that are getting paused to visit are Mrs. Anderson's classroom and Mrs. Delos Reyes. Congratulations! This week in Second Step, you are going to learn how to identify a problem. Hey boys and girls, we've been learning this four-step process of what to do when we want to solve a problem using step. The first we learned was say the problem, then we think of solutions, and this week you're going to be learning to explore the outcomes. Your teacher will tell you more about that. So this helps us solve problems. Sometimes you'll find out that you're actually the reason there is a problem. And when you realize that there's an, you've caused a problem, it's a great idea to apologize. When you apologize, you are showing that you care and that you are um, responding to the other person's feelings. There's three steps to an apology. You ask, I'm, you say, I'm sorry. You ask, are you okay? And then the other thing is, how can I help? Like, how can I help fix this? So again, having an apology helps the other person know that um, you care and that you are actually sorry for something that you may have done. Pause pick of the week. All right, for pause pick of the week this week is a story called When Sophie Thinks She Can't by Molly Bang. And in this story, Sophie and her classmates, their teachers talk to them about how do we get smarter? And she talks about flexing our muscles, like this kind of flexing muscles, but then working our brain kind of like a muscle to handle something that's a little bit more difficult each day. And that's how it works. And she works through some pretty big problems, even though she thought she couldn't. Have a great week.